The following game has not been rated by the ESRB. However, it does contain light to moderate amount of combat, as well as things exploding and an active volcano, which, well, kills everything that is not hiding. So, figure probably around, if it were to get an ESRB rating, probably around uh, teen or so. So, with that in mind, anyone under the age of 13 or so probably should not be watching this video. Also, furthermore, this game is technically still in early access. That means this game is not complete. So, therefore, what you will see in the following video may not reflect the final product that is eventually finished. You have been warned. Greetings and salutations. I am Outlier and I bid you welcome to this channel. Joining me today is, of course, my usual co hosts, Snowball and Wolf. And today we are returning back to Vulcanoids. Now, again, this is still not the one with the submarine. Yes, I may act like the drill ship is a submarine, but it's not actually a submarine. So, the premise of Vulcanoids is that you are an explorer on a volcanically active island, and as you explore, you come across this army of, uh, well, I would say mechanical machines, but that's kind of really the point of being mechanical, is that you're a machine. Not much is true. And so as you explore the island trying to figure out why the volcano is routinely going off, flattening everything on the surface and underground, uh, you come across the various uh, cog holdings, as the machines are called, and you basically have to wage a one-man war against the uh, ever-present machine army. Also, that way other people can settle a uh, land you probably have uh, no business claiming. But that isn't part of the story yet. And I say that's not part of the story yet because this game is still technically in early access, so they are in the process of uh, adding new things, balancing other things, just basically working on the game still. But there's still enough to play, and uh, I enjoy playing it, and apparently at least one person enjoys watching it, because this game probably has the most interaction on any video that I've been making recently. But that's a moot point, and as always, this game is of course made by... Thank you again. And uh, that being said, let us begin. Okay, so here we are. Um, am I underground? No, I am not underground. I am actually above ground. And about 13 minutes uh, before the next eruption. So this is the, well, for lack of a better term, the control center of the auger. That's what I call the drill ship. We head outside. 
This is what it looks like from the outside. Now, I have been... I, in between uh, this episode and last episode, I did uh, add a few things and, uh, well, add a few augmentations to the auger. Pretty much everything's packed up, I believe, right now. can't remember why I did that, but, uh, so nothing's really on. But, uh, one thing that I did was I removed whatever was here. I think it was some of the automated, uh, mechanical pieces. And put in the, uh, this entire bank of screens so that way I can keep track of the inventory of various parts and ores and all that fun stuff so if I'm running low on something I can just check here to see what it is I also put in all the manual uh, stations here so that way if I need to build something specific that I don't need a constant supply of I can just come to this one and just uh, build stuff out of that same with the refinery station and scrap and research as so the automated stuff I put those over here so I also added a few, so I'll have basically the ability to make pretty much any components that I need automatically without giving it too, too much thought. And I also have them building basic ammo as well. And various other consumables that I may need, and I have space for extra as things get more advanced. Uh, I do have the same for refinery, and I had planned on putting in... Uh, a couple more for research, so that way, just like the older broken uh, modules that I find, and like the cog, various cog heads and other things can just be turned into research piles, uh, just automatically. To go to the very end, I have uh, some storage which I just haven't gotten rid of, and uh, well, basically the back end, I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with it yet, so it's just leftovers from everything that I haven't just touched. Yeah, that's fixed. I don't know why that's going right. I also put in a bunch more turrets, so the back end has the standard pistol turrets as well as submachine gun and shotgun turrets. Uh, the very front has the doors, of course, as well as a uh, submachine gun and pistol turrets. As for above in the carriage, which is currently unarmed, in the back section, I have the various manual workbenches. Uh, above that, I have, well, basically ammo storage for pretty much every kind of ammo I've come across. I had planned on putting in more storage for various other things, but A, I haven't gotten around to it, and B, I ran out of room. Then up here is, well, just the, my living quarters, for lack of a better term. Alright, so we're just going to close all the uh, blast doors, just simply because I like doing so. So, I haven't fully completed the reservations that I wanted. Uh, mostly because I ran out of iron, and the harbor doesn't have any iron, so I gotta go hunting for it. And I figured I'd have that on a video, so I just planned this off. Also, I have various quests. Oh, speaking of uh, thing, other things that I did, almost forgot. I did also upgrade various other aspects of the uh, auger. So I upgraded the uh, tracks and reinfor and uh, the hull up to level two. Uh, these upgrades are the same. And um, so yeah, there's that. And I'm also in the process of building larger power plants and storage facilities. Almost forgot what I was going to say. But uh, again, I ran out of iron for those, so that's mainly what I need the iron for. Also, I put in a uh, storage flap access point back here, so that way anything that I build here I can just basically grab from here as opposed to going to a... Uh, different compartment so now that's pretty much everything uh, so as I said before I need iron and it's not here so we got to go to the secondary area for iron and for that uh, that's still heavily armed and um, guarded by various cogs so uh, we're probably going to have to go to war oh look some stuff actually was up Gotta shut that down. Oh well. I only do it for uh, thematic purposes anyway. 
All right, so here we are underground. We have eight minutes before the next eruption, so let's head over to area two and start hunting for resources. Oh yeah, I should probably look at the various quests. It did have three different quests. Oh, there was that flag red went underground. Would make sense because you can't really open it because the uh, outer hole of the drill ships in the way. So I have three new quests. So I need to destroy the laser array in area two, uh, where we have to siege another important cog structure. Took down the previous laser device. Can be sure they improve defenses and guard the whole area. Uh, be sure to bring enough ammo explosives. It might take a lot of time to get uh, to the crane legs as you fight your way through. You want to be sure the crane won't hide before the eruption when you finally get to it. Uh, also, I need to find and destroy a uh, tier 3 drill ship where advanced drill ships report the corundum drills we need to get. It won't be easy as these ships have strong defenses and a lot of modules. Remember, you have to take them all out before eruption happens and the whole sh uh, ship retreats underground. Next drill ship will be fully operational again, and all your effort will be wasted. Strongly suggest to bring a lot of mortar ammunition and grenades. Once the drill ship is down, quickly mine the front, track, and hull uh, to get the rest of the parts for future upgrades. And also need to build a new weapon in the form of the hand mortar. So improved metallurgy allows us to produce hand mortars capable of withstanding blasts from shooting projectiles at the distance. This weapon will be great help in taking out enemy turrets from safe cover or whole groups of enemies that run out from the door. You know, it's expensive, but worth the price. So, let's actually accept all these quests. So, we just need to travel to the second area and start hunting. So let's pick up this sulfur while I'm here. And this copper because it's on the way. Let's proceed to area two. And then let's just try to grab as much coal and iron and crystal as I can find. Well, because the auger constantly hungers for coal. So it's used to power the drill ship in pretty much every form. Alright, so I'm just going to run around underground to collecting as much as I possibly can until I get to, well, because I got about five minutes left before the next eruption. So I am going to just, as I said, gather as much as I possibly can. Uh, and then once that happens, once the eruption happens, I will find a spot to surface, open up the drill ship, and basically try to kill as much stuff as I possibly can. I know there's a uh, tier 2 research uh, drill ship right there. Take a brief look at it. Is it right here? So it's got two segments, uh, turrets, all that kind of stuff. I wonder if they can actually see the periscope. I mean, maybe. They seem to be running around it, but uh, they're not shooting at it, so. I'm going to assume that's a good thing. Also, with the increased toll, not only do we have better, uh, more health points, uh, the heat threshold for the drill ship is increased. So, four is like right around here, and as soon as we got into lava, we risked melting the drill ship. Now we can uh, withstand a little bit more before the drill ship starts to melt. Alright, so this is the uh, tier 3 drill ship that it wants me to fight. If we take a look at that. It's not with it. Actually, that's why, it's because it's actually in the tunnels. 
So it's actually below ground where we actually have some titanium ore. So that'll be fun to have. I'll grab the coal. Come on. I don't really need the modified tracks and uh, extra hull and drill bits for the tier 2 stuff because I already upgraded it. But I can scrap them for extra resources. I generally tend to have a tendency to do that. Alright, so the inventory is now full, so I can't pick up the boiler. So let me grab, see if I can grab this. So let's pop down uh, one level to grab the stuff out of the hold. volcano but uh, that's the eruption of the volcano and the mushroom cloud you don't need to worry about it's the ground running pyroclastic flow that you have to worry so now that that's over with we now have 25 minutes and everything resets again so I'm gonna grab this coal this iron just pop into the lava and then get out and uh, I'm going to go here at the shore site just simply because it's right next to where we uh, are Alright, now if last episode was any indication of how things are going to go, I'm probably going to get swarmed relatively quickly, so uh, once the drill ship is fully um, up, I need to just open up everything. Also, while I could just directly attack the laser um, drill and the tier 3 drill ship, it's probably wiser to build the hand mortar first. Various other things. So, once we're up, we come over here, turn on all the power, turn on all the storage, turn on all the birds. And production facilities. And apparently, I have more uh, core slots, well, I have more modules than I have core slots available. So that's probably going to be a bad thing.
least research and uh, manufacturing and okay, so what exactly is being made so it looks like iron tubes Okay. Let's put all that stuff back. So, what turrets aren't actually on? So, all four of the front ones are on. So the shotgun turrets, these other shotgun turrets, right? I want to say yes, so the shotgun turrets aren't active. Add mortar, I need one iron tubes and four copper gun components, which I technically have, although it is in the process of building uh, two tier coal plants. Which should actually help with the uh, core load, because if you look at it, the tier one core uh, power plant as uh, requires five core point um, requires five core points and has a fuel efficiency of 500 whereas the tier two uses the same amount of core points but doubles the fuel efficiency so I basically get and it also takes up two uh, slots so it's twice as big as the uh, tier one provides the exact same amount of power but uses because it's only one as opposed to two it uses half the core points Apparently I made the hand water. So, grab that and uh, it's ammo. And as soon as I grab the ammo out of it, it should automatically build more. Which it did. There we are. Let's grab 10 rounds real quick. Let's grab the two tier power uh, units. So now while I have storage on the front, I have power on the back running along the ceiling. This should be back here. Yeah. Okay. Just remove these two. Two there. This was a tier two module. Oops. Stick you there. Back here. You that all right, so energy power is now low. I can't put in more because there is storage here. So let me just pull that out and don't like the fact that it's being covered by the wall, but oh well. Not much I can do. Exactly do I have left? So one storage and tier one and one coal plant tier one. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to make do with the storage that I have. I mean, technically, I could actually put the um, extra storage and coal plants along the sides. There's no law stating that I have to have them on the ceiling. It's just like I ha uh, it's just that I like having the defenses and well, the defenses and the production facilities, the production, refinery, and research modules can't go on the roof, so everything else I like having up there. I like having everything even. So since I only have the one coal plant, one storage, I'm just gonna actually I think I have maxed out core slots, so and the fighting begins. Dead now? Okay, cool. Just uh, take everything. At least now I know that the drill ship can adequately defend itself. Although armor apparently doesn't last all that long. Took like what? Three, four hits and uh, it's already down by... Well, by that much? Alright, so what's the status with everything on? Getting definitely a bonus of power. Still maxing out core slots, so... I don't know if... Okay, so the shotgun turrets are still technically offline. Might as well not have them. Best not to overload the core slots, otherwise when you turn everything on, uh, things will start competing against each other, for lack of a better term. Tier 2 storage as well. Nope, didn't get built. Because I need chests. Which I don't have automated. And I need copper bolts for, which I don't have. And I'm not in the area, in the area for copper. That's going to be a slight problem. Okay then. Let's not have the gun equipped while inside the auger. Because last time I did that, I ended up shooting things. Not a good, never a good day. Alright, so... Let's say we were going to war, so let's shut the drill ship down. And, uh, head back underground. Because everything we need to fight for the quests is uh, in the caves.
there's at least two drawers down here because there's this tier two refinery one and uh, apparently traveled to Dark Labyrinth one. Put the whole pool down first before we go back to grab this crystal and get out. Now if I hadn't upgraded the hole yet, I probably would have melted some. Let's just pop out because we have 12 minutes left. Just going to do this to get the bearings so that way well, I know what's where and I probably could have just simply done that while still being below ground. Especially considering it now says to go back underground for the various quests. Okay, fine. I'd like to point out, the game told me to come to this spot. Okay, so now it wants me to go up here. So where's the laser? Side, there's a tier 3 refinery one at Living Flame 2. Alright, so I'm guessing. Let's say I'm guessing this thing is how I get to the laser. Apparently not. Alright, so this is how you get to the laser drill. So I need to hit a tier 3. Uh, drill ship in order to build a drill hard enough to get through uh, hard stone which I think that's what this is called to get access to the drill I know that there's a uh, tier 3 refine tier 3 refining one right here going through and grabbing everything that I can get my grubby little mittens on. Because, again, less than 10 minutes before the uh, volcano erupts. And if you thought the surface for the pirate's pirate crest of flow was bad, it's even worse down here. Because it's just a wall of lava. I mean, there are cogs here, but I'm not seeing a tier 3 drill ship. I say that as there's the tier 3 drill ship right here. Fortunately, there's no soft soil nearby, so we can't use the periscope to take a close look at it. So we can do that from here. I mean, I can see it's smokestacks by the looks of it, but uh, can't really see the actual drill ship as I point in the wrong direction because. 
I think that might actually be the tier 2 one. Yeah, it looks like it's only got two segments, so I think that's the tier 2 research one I keep passing by. Which means that's still probably the tier 3 production. So that's going to be my target, or it would be, except I got seven minutes left, and I don't feel like going to war in seven minutes. So. I'm just going to hang out down here, keep exploring, and then eventually, once it resets, find the new target and then attack that. This be something stupid. Well, I mean, I didn't take any damage, but there's nothing over here, so let's do something stupid again. Although this time it was necessary because I couldn't get back any other way. Now I break my drill ship. Okay, where did I put that patch kit? I don't have another door module, although, although I do have another door. Just put in that, and a new window. Alright, so that's fixed. Back. Just double check, make certain everything's mostly intact. More because I'm just trying to kill four minutes as opposed to actually worried about it. So let's just keep grabbing stuff. You never know when I need more. I kind of wish the basic inventory was filled. I mean, I would also like it if it would just move it to the various modules, but uh, it only does that while it's on. And it's now the two minute warning, so let's head back downstairs. By downstairs, I mean to level two. Everything should be hiding. Let's end 
up being a bad idea, especially if there's two actual drill ships down here. On account of they both probably be spawning cogs. So if I were to say pop up like say right here, I'd be stuck between two drill ships, even though I technically can't because this isn't a uh, drill point. Or surface point, I guess it's called. But now everybody runs and hides, and that drill ship's actually already gone. As is, I believe, my target. Things start getting sick. Oh, uh, hot like. And once again, volcano goes boom. Well, that was different. I kind of expected it to be, um, to happen behind me, but that's what I get for not paying attention to the orientation. Now we wait for a uh, tier 3 to spawn. Hopefully. Kind of scourge, maybe. Any minute now. There we are. Let's go take a look at what it is, shall we? Inventory is full, but uh, I want to take out this drill ship, so I'm just going to leave, start leaving things behind. Oh, goody! I traded a production for a military. That's what I get for waiting. Up we go. Military ones have more guns, so they're harder to kill. But I also have better guns now, so... I still don't like my chances. Alright, so let's just open everything. Get everything I don't need. Uh, in some form of storage. Nope, that's the wrong button. And do I? I do have explosives. But I don't think I actually have a detonator yet. Might be why I left these things behind. And carrying like 14 grenades. Alright, so the drill ship in question is off in this direction. Let's go to war. That's probably going to be a problem. Running low on ammo for the submachine gun, it's only the first engagement with the expeditionary forces. It's probably not a good sign. Oh look, more coal.
titanium, I believe. A lot of titanium. I would say let them pass, but they're probably going to be heading this direction. Alright, so that's now empty. And, uh, found the target. before we go back and engage. Load up. And, uh, add some water turret. Mistaking moving corpses for enemies. Anybody else? There's always one. Running out of shotgun ammo too. Yeah, now I'm definitely out of shotgun ammo. So I got left is the pistol and uh, the mortars and some grenades. Just take random stuff. More shotgun shells. That's always fun. Alright, turret is not dead. Else? 
range for that, probably. Alright, now we heal again. And run away. Okay, so after that, I'm down to two shotgun shells of the blue variety. No submachine gun ammo. Quite a bit of pistol ammo still of the blue variety again. One mortar grenade. And still have all my regular grenades. On top of that, I have not really... Come on. I'm also I'm completely out of armor. I got like six health kit. Five health kit. Four health kit. I wish there's a better way to select your weapons. I wish there was a longer range weapon, but I don't think you get the sniper rifle until later. And the drill ship is taking damage. Okay. Alright. Let's lead them back to my heavily defended area. Right, so I can crouch. Meantime, since I'm right here, I probably should just simply rearm. And this is actually why I have it set to automate all the ammo. So all I gotta do is just basically go in, uh, grab ammo out of the, um, storage, I actually forgot what it was called real quick, and, uh, it allows me to basically just keep grabbing stuff, and as I pull it out of inventory, it just keeps making more. Same with the armor kit. There's a new one right there. We'll take more health packs. I'm guessing they didn't build the door module. No, because I need copper bolts and I don't have any copper. Alright, let's actually get below ground, see if there's a softer target I could hit. Also need more mortar grenades. Oh, and now our tier 3 production shows up. Does that mean the research one has disappeared? Okay, so let's pop out here. We 
got 10 minutes to actually hit this thing and blow it up. Let's just reload everything on the way. And I did not pick up more mortar rounds. Probably actually uh, increase the amount of a lot the amount of uh, mortar rounds that they build at any one time. All right, so I'm just going to run past all the cogs. Hope that my drill ship can actually take care of them all. If not, well, I'm going to have issues. I got nine minutes to take out the defenses, sneak in, and blow everything up. And I do not have any cover, so this is a bad idea. Then we go this way. is that the other drill ship. And while I'm 
mass producing ammo, I don't have mass producing weapons. Oh goody, they're also in the drill ship. Let's get down. that submachine gun go? There we are. And did it make any ammo for it? Live tool. Alright, so I guess I'm kissing everything that I already had goodbye. Because if I have to deal with them inside the drill ship, I'm definitely not getting back. I got my own bed just to kill this one guy. Come on, go down. Okay, so how exactly did they get in? Looks like they blew a hole clean through here and took out one of the several of the automated uh, production facilities. At least one power plant. Multiple power plants by the looks of it. Alright, so I'm going to have to clearly rethink the entire assault a uh, drill ship plan. Because I think they did more damage to mine than I did to them. So let's fall back and rethink about our lives. Oh, a tier two, a tier three refinery. Also, the eruption is going to happen in like two and a half minutes. Nope, not there. Where are the caves? Oh, the tunnel's up. Ground, so we're still technically safe from the eruption. So I'm going to use the time to get of the eruption to get back to the safe harbor where I can refit and repair and rebuild. Assuming of course I can actually find the thing. Found 
the bridge from one area to the next. to grab as much copper as I can possibly find. Because again, I need to rebuild all the guns that I had, and while I automated ammo, I don't have spare guns, which, in hindsight, is probably something I should have had spares of. And then we pop up back at the harbor. And the only spot where I'm fairly certain you don't get attacked. Even though the next area over does say the safe grounds, I believe you still get attacked there. Alright, well I'm still getting a net positive of power, so I do have at least one power station still active. Yeah, the refiner is back there. So it looks like they took out the research facility and then blew a hole in this empty wall. And that's how they got in. Okay. A power plant. Where are the breach kits? Right, so first thing I need to do is fix the holes. Second thing I need to do is rebuild the bed because I blew that up trying to kill that one cog. Third thing I need to do is, well, rebuild everything that was destroyed. Also looks like I lost a couple of the cabinets I was using to store our stuff in, but uh, I 
Guess they punched more holes into my ship than I thought. Alright, I'm guessing the one making the bridge kits is gone. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four of you. Five of you. Door right there. Door and window. Almost blew up the turrets. I do have enough for. I do not have enough in uh, tier two intel research. I'm gonna have to make. Actually, do I have a spare? I do have my spare tier one module. Okay, now that that's fixed. Hold you down. Still out of copper. So just setting up the automation so that way it produces, well, plenty of stuff. Yeah, so that should help automate things. Of course, what I should do is, let's say, set it up so that way it starts the tier 2 stuff first, but we'll get there eventually, and I guess end of day, that's really all I can care about. Apparently I'm running low on energy because I have everything up and running, but uh, never fixed the... Power plants. Okay, so what's still smoking over here? I have to gonna do this from the outside. I'm also out of module repair kits now. Just upgrade the armor while I'm thinking about it. I guess you don't get the old armor back. Interesting. I 
I can just fix it from over here. Alright, so I still need to repair two power plants. Hole is good. This storage is damaged. Also, I need to rebuild all the manual benches. I just remembered that. Also, can't remember what exactly I had here in the back of these spots. Copper gun components as easy as being made at the other one. Just make some of those here. And I got wire, I got radiators. Ammo still being made, but while I'm thinking about it. have it just make 20 mortar shells at once and I actually don't remember what I had over here oh yeah Alright, not certain I may I flagged it for everything. I'm fairly certain this one was filled originally. But I think I got everything back the way it was. Alright, and I now have enough and I now have some um, tier two research. What I can do is build another tier two module. Put two chests. As well as Two more power plant, tier two power plants, because those are what got destroyed. You seem to also be out of copper, so let's go find some. While we wait for all that stuff to build. Realized there was that one copper mine that I looked at her uh, last episode. Hopefully it refilled and I can get plenty of copper there, although I'm not currently sitting right next to it and I do only have seven minutes left before the next eruption. So I'm just going to spend some time running around here. I'm going to pickaxe out. Seeing if I can find any straight copper. Alright, got a bunch of coal. Won't send out a coal. The auger constantly hungers for coal. Like random pure right here. Okay. So the mine's actually this way. Let's have the auger go back underground. Then I can call it back up closer to the mine. Yeah, 
Okay, so it's moving to the safe grounds now. I if I have a flashlight built into this. Don't remember, so I guess it's not important. Alright, I got four minutes before the next eruption. Can't be bothered with wailing on wooden crates that may or may not net me anything. So I got three minutes left before the next eruption. So let's get back to the auger. If I can remember which way is out. So you tell me at least it's surfaced. And then we just put everything in. Alright, now we got to hide underneath uh, underground because of the eruption. First things first. the doors closed not that I need to close the doors I just like closing all the doors shut the drill ship down and uh, get underground because I now have about a minute before the volcano erupts again Okay, so that was an interesting thing happening. So I thought I could actually handle a tier 3 drill ship. Uh, clearly I was wrong and I'm still in the process of fixing the drill ship. So I guess what I got next to do is to finish repairs on the auger, upgrade the auger with better defenses, I would say buy, build better guns, but I don't think I actually have access to better guns just yet. And, um, I guess figure out what I'm going to do next and how I'm going to be able to proceed.
But uh, that's all going to be another issue for another day, because I'm going to call it here. Everybody stay safe from the plague, and um, have a good day.